and focus and then build the community as well as a little bit of the system and extend their abilities so that it will last a lot longer. And check me out, I'm like a, I'm like a rhino, <laughs> raging through the voice. But it doesn't stop there. I also got a brand new chest plate. This chest plate. A flamingo chest plate. <laughs> With zombies around my arm. Oh, it, it, oh, it looks amazing. Absolutely amazing. And this was also a makeup. Take a look at this. Ironically, the best thing I had was my chest plate, which is also Omega, and has a black roll, but this chest plate has fire resistance, which makes me able to enjoy a hot lava swim in the morning. <laughs> it's so perfect, but it's the flamingo model, because it keeps me floating. <laughs> Seriously though, no, it's an absolute brilliant modifier of water here, because of all the lava and stuff inside water and fire aspects on the motion. This is a very, very, very good fire. I'm probably going to be using both though, as long as this has some repairs, because that plus one luck level does give me a lot more loot all the time, so whenever I loot that, I should try and keep to this inside of all, and then whenever I'm fighting or running around, the flamingo is still going to. All in all, it was a very good day. I had tons of fun, and thanks to all of you who came out and, and watched it live, and we all so got to be watching the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Getting very messy in my reception. <laughs> Just stacking up random things. I should really get to fixing this, shouldn't I? But for today, I got other plans. You see, I have that one treasure key that we fought very hard for, so hard to find. Oh, that reminds me. I did actually get 1,500. Soul shards and I think soul shards for sale quite cheaply and then more expensively. Uh, I, I can't really gamble. Fuck, let's gamble. Oh, to the red box, that's like a double gamble. Maybe again? Yes. Another time to watch the box. How many do I have then? 800, I can, I can do one more. One more. Oh, an idol. Look. Now the question is do I save it? Do I gamble, or do I buy this single star shard? Hmm. I gamble. A bug! Okay, that's that's good. Overall, that's that's good. And I could potentially get something extremely lucky in these kind of world boxes. Uh, okay, I'm from Redstone. That's, that's terrible. I guess, I guess it's telling me that I do need to revive my son. My other son, however, does not deserve a revive at this point in time. <laughs> Dying. Anyway, second box. Oh, a sword. Which, oh, unfortunately. I mean, they could still be a mega though, couldn't they? Oh, now the idol is definitely scrappy. Oh, but with immunity, you know what? Any immunity, I think, is worth holding on to. Sword, terrible. Absolute garbage. As I was saying before, I got completely, as I was saying before, I got completely gambled carried away. I do have one treasure key, and so today, I would like to go on another treasure hunt, because it is one of the most exciting things to do in World Hunters. I could get an echo pod, I could get the Scorch Disc, which I desperately need. I think a whole lot of good things, so that is going to be the goal for today. And I do actually have a crystal, which has luck here that I could have to do in the stream there. I found it as a combination here. And since I have a lot more gems, I could also make more catalysts, because I do have 61 fragments. But before any of that, I want to put my five taxo charms to use. And to do that, I'm going to need five blank taxos. Which in turn means that I need more benefit. I only need two purples for taxes, so I need three more purples, six more purples. I'm gonna to have to break down some of this. I'm not gonna break down all of this because I got a bigger plan there. I'm gonna break down that at a time and hope to get super lucky. 26 that's actually great. Yeah, that's actually two more than I needed. Brilliant. Wait, that was super lucky because that was well many a time more. Okay, and then I need some layer bar to go with this as well. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant. Now applying a Paxo charm gives me a random enhancement of that Paxo, and there are some really good ones. So this is another gambling element, but let's see what we get. The first one, sturdy. Oh, that's actually great. 2,000 more durability. It's going to last longer. Next. 
post money. I mean, that, that's quite good in the old one for collecting smooth stone because well, I don't have to burn things in a furnace. That's it out. Wait a minute, did I just find a farm? <laughs> Why is it not the stone? Oh, it's not because I don't have silk cuts on it. Right, so it's actually breaking this cobblestone and then smelting it to, to stone. Next one! Hammer. Ooh, this is a nice one too. I do have to dig in straight tunnels. Oh, that's so satisfying. That's so very satisfying. I know some people that prefer to use these inside walls, but personally, for me, this is more of a base building pack. So, two more to go. Fragile. Oh, that's. That's the worst. Minus 3,000 durability. Last one. Speed. Ooh, so when I hold this pack zone, I get plus one speed. Look at me. I'm zooming. Now, I was hoping to get the rarest one you can get. Fortunate. Which is like 1 in 100. But what it does is add another fortune level. And that would have brought me to fortune 5 together with my, with my main mining. And the reason I was hoping to get it is because of this trade, the Fortune 4 book, which is actually 5 of the three. I can make more Fortune 4. Now I could wait and hold on to this book until I get a Fortune of Paxton eventually, but I am going to put it on my Fortune 3 pickaxe, leaving me a full of Fortune 5 to get the 40 pebbles, leaving me Fortune 5 with my base mining Fortune presentation. I guarantee you that the next pack will I have a pack on my set of charm and get fortune, fortune above it. But here it is, my fortune for pickaxe. Time to break it in. A pack of Demi-type And I would say anything above 192 Demi-type from this is great success. <laughs> that is very satisfying. How many did I get? Oh, I didn't quite get 192. 181. But still, but, um, I'm not a good disappointed to be honest. But that's a healthy amount of Tenutite, so that I can make some more catalysts, or catalysts, so that I can hopefully get another lucky level on this crystal, and then run the other one. Garbage? Garbage? Ooh! Oh, they got good! Great! As a source of water fire! Oh, that's incredible! That's also pretty decent, safe zone, random, that's garbage. Raging, I hurt a little bit, 100% extra damage on the boss. Uh, I'll have to keep this because it has a lot of positive last one. Ooh. Oh no, it has with it. Okay, I thought it was a solo, solo positive. That's like one of the rarest things you can get. Like this. This this is an incredible modifier. Can't believe I got this. This is such a good catalyst. Come on! Yes, that's a good one. Let's suppose I'll just save the fast one for later because I'm not counting time. Right, let's see if I got any good combinations for the catalyst. So here, I got nothing. And sometimes you can see that the catalyst doesn't actually give you an option, and that's because it already has something that the crystal has. So here, this has hunger, and my crystal has hunger. Same here, and that's why I can't find it. Over here. Oh, that's lucky! Ooh. I'm gonna do it. That adds another luck level and for a test room, it's a really good thing. Remember, every luck level adds another roll inside of every chest. See if I get something really good. Nothing here. Personal space with wincing. Feels like a fairly decent. Uh -oh. Flexible hard loads and fast turnaround times. Another reason to thank the Feels like a fairly decent addition actually, because if the mobs are racing, it would be really nice if none of them are spawning around me if they're just if they just want to control for some FF2. Do you know that I'm withering? I mean I'm not planning on leaving chests here, but other than pressure chests of course. Hmm. No, you know what? I think I'm I think I'm content. With this crystal. I think that this is a good enough crystal to run with my treasure room here. Now, I got a little bit of a pickle situation. You see, because I found three Echo Gems in the stream day, I could potentially, together with these and the four key pieces I have, make another treasure key and open two treasure rooms on this one crystal, which would be great. It would, however, set me back 
on equity gems. So put, put me further behind on the echo form that I want to make so that I can upgrade this to a crafting terminal. That being said though, I could get an echo gem inside another treasure room. Hmm. And I mean treasure rooms are fun. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to invest and gamble. <laughs> because of course I am. <laughs> oh, that's something that, that I need another cluster actually. There's no difference in quality of fresh room based on the gem, by the way. It's completely random. So it's always best to use the ones I have the most often. I I'm pretty sure it's going to be Atrium. 13 fours, Fortune 5, 22. Uh, cluster, there we go. And Atrium. Nice! You know what this guy got? Two treasure keys! <laughs> now I'm very excited! Before I can go on my treasure hunt though, I'm probably gonna need to repair my boots and legs. Luckily, I do have enough repair cores. <laughs> These boots are getting very worn. <laughs> I'm not gonna repair my chest plate though, because as I said, I think I'm just gonna put this on when I'm in a treasure room to get me that extra luck level. And then, for the most part, with the rest of the world, I'm just going to the main boat. As far as my helmet goes, though, I think that rather than spending a repair for on this hey, helmet, what do you do you say anything? Means that I do need to repair or uh, enchant it. Okay. So, I'm going to try to put a bit of maintenance what I have to do after running 11 volts in one day. I'm actually going to go to this chest plate. The only problem is, is this the chest plate that I'm I'm like a golden head, I like, know. <laughs> I don't know. Awesome. And actually, that reminds me, we have restocked the Vault Hunter gear shop. So if you missed the last vault, make sure to check out this Canadian Pirate Dog shop. Any more profits made on the Vault Hunter section goes directly into the development team into developing Vault Hunter's 118. Which is very exciting, by the way. Anyway, oh, I have a and I can find two better rooms in this to make it worth the crystal. Hopefully, I guess I'm a little bit lucky. I always have to stay out of, of mobs because oh, it's coming. they're gonna hurt. Oh, and it's a scavenger jump. Well, I'm not, I'm not planning on completing this anyway. The plan is to just look for treasure rooms on the minimap. Wow, that was really scary. Why is my face? Oh, I see a treasure room, and it's also a lava room, which is fine. I'm in my flamingo set, and that is the board door. Oh, I think the biggest problem in this world is going to be to find the correct treasure rooms in time. But there's another one, and it must be down. Yes. That's a puppy door. Oh, yeah. The mobs are also freezing. I forgot about that hat. They will be hurt! Up a little bit. Make sure it's not to be underestimated. That modifier is absolutely scary. Oh, an Omega room. I haven't seen this room in a while. This is in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, that's a puppy knife door! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! One out of two! Oh, brilliant. I always forget that there are a lot of cores inside these rooms as well. Oh! That's an echo or... I think that's so why I was trying to find some echo gems here, because I could potentially get four from that one. It's a long chance, but I could. There's a possibility. Right, here goes. First suggest number one. That's a star core. And I'm, I'm not actually going to look too much because it's a common chest, unfortunately. I my cake. Oh no, it's a tube empty. It. What the cake thing? There's four things in chest number two. Another common one. Ooh, a rare plus axe though. Oh, and you know what I forgot before I open the chest? I didn't put my chest plate on. Oh, that's a waste. I lost the last level. Oh well. Ah, let's move on. Twenty-one minutes to find one more treasure room. So I can go up here potentially. Yes, that's a puppy door. Looking for a yellow door. Not a village room, but any treasures? Nope. Oh, this may be bad to spend my time on, but finding it hard to pass up on a kind of solid for I get a box. I get a lot of box. Never mind. This thing is horrible. Oh! A mind room! No, not in this world! Oh, that's, that's incredible. I, I kind of have to loot this. I kind of have to loot this. <laughs> There's actually a treasure room here as well. There's two treasure rooms here. Oh, if one of them could be an ashen door, that's the sparkle theme. Almost correct. Right here. That's another sparkle theme! 
come on and tease with it being the correct color. Well, that's unfortunate. If one of them would have been mashing room, I would have had the perfect opportunity to just move everything on the room. The chance for getting a mind room is like 1 in 360, if I remember correctly. Well, where does he go? To just leave it is like not necessarily an option. So it's also very, very satisfying and very addictive to just search for. I should really stop now. I should really carry on. Oh! Oh! That was quite scary. <laughs> Guarantee you that there is an echo or somewhere in this mine just waiting to be mined, and I'm not gonna find it. Because 12 minutes, I, I, I gotta go. I really have to go. I really have to find the pressure room. Maybe I could come back. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, here's a room. There's two rooms. Uh, Tubium and. Oh, let's get the one. There's another one here, though. Three pressure rooms right next to each other. Maybe... Yes! It's an ocean door! Oh my goodness! Okay, okay, okay. Uh, switch the chest plate. Don't forget this, come. Get all the doors. Okay, here we go. Pressure chest number one. Common, but that looks a lot better than the others. And that's just that was actually that was a storage disk. It was a storage disk. It was a storage disk. Huge. Absolutely massive. I'll put some of the junk in here, I guess. Come on. It's a rare. It's a rare. It's a rare. It's, a rare. it's another storage disk. There, there's tons of common class walk here. Oh, and I see another very good thing. This thing, the trader. I'm shaking right now. I'm literally legit shaking. <laughs> That's some great finds right there. I can't believe I got a rare treasure chest. I'm actually gonna pick up this dirt as well. That's two EX. Yeah, crazy. Right, this means that I should be able to, if I can find my way, go back to that mine room and pop it. You think that my room was south, and then west, and then the west again, maybe? <laughs> yes. Okay, I've got nine minutes. This is, this is such an omega treasure, this, like, like, finding this room, and the bomb treasure rooms, is an omega treasure, that's what I mean. But I don't even know how to the things I've got yet. Ouch, I forgot to get my chest plate! Oh, please! They hurt so much when raging. That husk is really dangerous, and the fact that they freeze me is scary, okay. This is good, this is good. <laughs> so I'm around the ear, <laughs> just loving it around. <laughs> I didn't because I wasn't planning on finding a mine. I'm getting very fast and I'm sure I haven't even discovered half of the words in the mine yet. Yeah, I think it's best I find my way out. What an absolute crazy find in a treasure vault with raging mobs. Anyway, it's time to go home. And luckily, I know exactly where I am. Just gonna go this way, line the vine. <laughs> Not mandatory. <laughs> and then go this way. And it should bring me to my home. Where are you? Oh, I can't do that. That kill me right now. I will click. Here we go. This was a very Omega Special Vault. Unbelievable. And I'm very excited to have a look in my crate. Let's see what modern things first that are really exciting here. Animal Rancher? Eh. I'm an animal farm with it. A pulverizer? That is actually... <laughs> that's actually very, very good. This is basically like the crushing means from Create. As if it takes an item and crushes it down into another item. It does, however, also take power and I think it's a little bit slower. Two golden furnaces. Oh, and another emerald furnace! Expansion? T temporary expansion. 
Oh my god, I'm breaking four book! Oh, that's huge. These are very, very rare. I think that's an Omega find inside the treasure room. I don't know what I would use it on, or if I should save it for, like, something better, but... Maybe I should maybe I should put it on my black chest plate. Of course, the Echo War is incredible, and probably one of the best vibes here. Two Star Cores is saving me 40 Lairmars, so that's crazy. Two 1k storage disks. Oh, and a solar panel! This thing generates power when... Well, when it's sunny. Aha! Not a lot, it's not very fast, but it is automatic as long as it's daytime. I may use these! I could crack more and put them on the, on the roof, we'll see. I also got a drag lamp, which is like a mega torch in that it blocks spawns of mobs, but it's, it blocks the non-hostile mobs, which is great for my warehouse because I do have a little bit of a bat problem. That takes care of that. And I got the trader. This is this is a great find. Check this out. I take a family member, any family member would do. Why is he why is he holding a book? <laughs> That's very, very funny. Anyway, I, I take I take a, like one of my family members. And then I pop them in here, and then I give them the equivalent workstation, and now I can trade with them in here, and they will reset and stuff. Very, very handy, indeed. And the best thing is that I can easily just take them out, put them in the box, and get another one out. They basically contains them, and it also looks awesome. I love it. Very, very happy with that find. As far as my two 1k storage disks goes, I may actually want to unclock the storage part, and then craft one more so that I get a fork. Yeah, I think that would be a bit smart, actually. Yes. So on top, I just do shift right click when they're empty, and then it comes out. There's a fork, and then I can just put this and that together. There we go. 4,000 new items can be stored in there. Brilliant. You know what? Not a single scrappy plus wall gear piece. All of these are four plus, and one is rare plus. Please do something good. Particularly the legs. Oh, and the legs are common, I just missed the mega, and they're terrible. Ooh, but that's a pretty good chest plate. That being said though, I do have two very good chest plates. Nothing exciting, nope, nope, and nope. This chest plate is definitely good for one of my sons though. And this must be the episode where I've opened most Pandora boxes. Uh, both plating, and the Hunter's Eye. Hunter's Eye is actually quite rare. The rest of this, I think, I'll just put away in the system. Now, time to look in the banks. I got seven star essences, four Callus fragments, some gems, 14 Lutex shards, and 13 skin essences. That's pretty big. I think I should use this system, shouldn't I? Oh, and look at the ores I managed to collect in the mine room. Brilliant. I'm legendary ones. Ooh, I actually did very good here, didn't I? All in all, this was a very good run. I can't believe I got a mine room and opened two treasure rooms. I'm very proud of that. And lucky. <laughs> I also got very lucky. <laughs> now, time for something completely different. A bit of a and a fluid storage disk. Brilliant. And then I'm going to go here, and this up for a second, and put it in the structure there, and break that block. Wire this to my system, and right click this, and change the fluid, and even though I can't see it on my grid, because I'm going to do that fluid grid, which is definitely not making. I now have water in my system, in theory, so if I get myself two exporters, and put them on these two, and then configure these to be fluid and water, and fluid and water. These should fall off in this system now. That's definitely gone up. Nice! So that is infinitely automatically refilling my thermal generator with water. Nice! Now I would also really like to try and upgrade this now that I have some more gems and resources. Hopefully I have enough. That's that is scary. I need two of these, two dielectric paste, and one piece of iron, a couple of capacitors, and I actually need one more, but that's pretty the basics. Four blocks of iron, more dielectric paste, two of you, and two of you, and then one of these casings. And that should mean that I can upgrade it to a basic one. Yes! Thus automatically producing 140 RF per tick, or EF per tick. 
that's coming to here, that's coming to there, and that's just going to this water, and this is going to count to draining 99, which is less than 140, so that I can, the things that I can then cancel this is going to put wasting on my phone. I'll keep it here just, just in case, but that automates the power and fixes my issues, so I don't have to constantly weeping with water. I constantly worry about getting unlocked or out, locked out. Locked out of my system. English hard. Now we are almost out of video time for today, and I promise, I promise that we're gonna do something about this mess in the next episode. But before I'm done today, it's time to smelt down or sacrifice my statues. Even though some of them are not completely done yet, I want to see if I can hopefully get another Omega Faction because I think this is going to be very tight but the big ones do weigh more so that's good 70% it's going to be very close and water is now very green at 95 oh I think, I think I'm just going to do it just actually do it that should be, yep, that's it they don't have one to spare, who, who survives? <laughs> I've got a new friend for you and hopefully I get something really good like clay for example it would be great or Chris Marine actually would also be very good. Here we go. Cobblestone. Where the last people might go? Ah! Honestly, like these three blocks are modded, they're never gonna appear in the North Pole. Cobblestone obviously is useless. Dirt may seem silly, but it's not actually terrible. Oh no! <laughs> no, we cannot, we cannot have that. This is, this is not allowed. This is a PG channel. I am dirt. Yes. We <laughs> have one more no jumbo. Then <laughs> we're not dirt head. <laughs> Brilliant. Yes. A suit of a red tie. This is a mumble skin. Aha. Uh -huh. That's on there. And we're going to some upgrades. Diamond upgrades to be exact. And I think I'm actually going to invest in one more. And boom. Thank you, I am dirt. I think you are a very welcome addition. To the family. Then you will go in and the journey begins. Now make sure to join me next time as I promise to take care of this <laughs> mess. I really do hope that you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please do hit the like button down below and if you found it to be subscribing and I will see you in the next episode. The day was Omega, and I am level 44, and I've got 5 skill points to spend, and a massive amount of loot to show you. The last time I did Omega Day, I did a montage, didn't I? Well, this time around, I'm, I'm not <laughs> gonna do a montage. Maybe because last time it took me around 6 hours, and I'm just too excited to, to start playing. I'm just too excited to go through all the loot and, and get into it. But, I will say that it did get quite spicy at times. This is actually really bad. I'm dead! <laughs> yep, four seconds remaining and two and a half parts, I think. I didn't have any healing potions left. It was very, very scary. But if you do want to check out all of the wolf ones, they are available on my Twitch channel, and I will link the video directly down below in the description, so you can just click that link and then watch, watch the entire thing or scroll through it or whatever, whatever you want to do. I will say, I didn't actually get through Quad Wolf this time. I got through nine, mainly because I got interrupted by builders that unannounced and unexpectedly arrived to my house to do and plumbing is important, but it works. But, where are my manners? Hello! Episode 22, and this ought to be a jam-packed episode. Mm. Jam. Strawberry jam. No, jam! Jam on toast. Mm. Oh my god, have my breakfast, actually. It was good! It was really good! Now, we it.
Now, I did do it a little bit different this time around. I did actually end up putting some of the things away into my door system, including the gems that I found. Not the doors, but the gems and things like root tech shards and wolf nuggets. But I did separate a lot of it. And I gotta say, it was a quite successful mega day.